Interaction filter. Happy birthday. If you feel this video is useful, please click the subscribe button below, choose to receive notifications or share it with your friends to watch. Ok, let's start. Patch Editor Show the patch editor by clicking on this icon and select Show Patch Editor. First, we will let the user change the birthday hat whenever they clicking on it. Select the hat object, then create patch. We will use object tap to trigger event whenever the user clicks on the hat. Connect to the counter patch. Click on hat animation sequence to change the frame every time the user tap on it. Let's try. Perfect. Now we will use the screen tap to turn on the fire when the user clicks on the screen. It is also used so that users can try again after completion. Add the screen tap patch. and connect with fire visible. Change the connection to turn on like this. Next, add interaction when user blow the candle. Choose face tracker, create patch and interaction, select producer patch. Three patches auto create help you detect the face interaction. We will add the kissing face patch like this. Then, connect it with turn off. Let's see. When you tap on screen, the fire will turn on. When you blow, the fire turn off. Cool. When user blow the candle, we will also display the happy birthday text. Connect the pulse patch with animation patch like this. Then connect with transition and happy birthday text scale. Change the value like this. And change the curve to overshoot out. Let's check. Cool. Make the animation run faster and reset it whenever user tap on screen. Perfect. Now, we will make balloon animation by use loop animation patch. Connect with transition. Add position of blue balloon. We will make this balloon float up and down gently by changing the start value and end value of Y axis. Turn on mirrored and change curve to quadratic and out. You can also change the, the value to make it nicer. Perfect. Add two new transition patches with the same output from the loop animation. Then do the same for orange balloon and yellow balloon. Perfect. Sprite Sheet and Particle System In this tutorial, you will gain more knowledge about another type of texture animation, the Sprite Sheet. The Sprite Sheet texture is an image file whose elements are arranged in a grid with rows and columns. Your job now is to change the number of rows and columns, so they match the number of rows and columns in your image. 
make sure that all sprite sheet texture included in the project is properly edited before use. Let's do it with two sprite sheet is orange and green. Now, we will add a particle system object. It is called emitter. Add material to it. You will see the sprite sheet combined with the particle system works like this. We will edit it a bit. Change the emitter type to plane with bigger size. The birth rate is number of particle. This scale is the size of each particle. 30% make the size random bigger and smaller 30%. Lifepan like duration of particle from born to end. Now change the position like this. Okay. Look nice. Duplicate the emitter 1 to make emitter 2. Change material. Perfect. Now we will make the particle system just show when user blow the candle. Connect the pulse value with another enyamption patch. Then transition. Change the type of transition to number because we will control the birth rate of emitter. The birth rate receive number value. Add the birth rate of emitter 1 and emitter 2. Then change the end to 50. Change the curve to quadratic in out. Don't forget connect to reset when this animation start. Let's check. Very cool. I want the particle system just play in a few seconds. Add the delay pad and set the time you want it show. Then connect with reverse. Restart the filter and take a look. It's short. Let's make it longer. Perfect. Add instructions and enjoy your filter. I have arranged all the patches in few groups to add the comment. You can do the same by selecting the patches you need to group. Right click and select comment around. Name the group. You can also change the color if you want. Nice. Now we will add the custom instruction in the beginning, when start the filter. Click to device and scene panel, then click create button in custom instruction. Choose instruction on beginning. You will see three patches like this. It get the error because you don't have any value to input on token. Don't worry about that. We will get the value for token by click project, edit properties, choose on capabilities, then instruction, custom instruction, click on plus button to add a new one. You can search and will see a list of tap instruction. I choose tap to try one. Insert it. Now, copy this token. Paste it on token input. Nice. Last checked. Perfect. Fix some logic issues. I think the filter works fine now. But for some first time users, they will meet the case when the candle is not turned on, but the effect is still runs like this. We need to handle it by adding a few more patches. Quickly. I will arrange it a bit for you to make it easier to follow. 
the idea would be. The congratulation effect will only start after the user touches the screen to turn on the fire. So we just need to add a and patch to check the scene tap is enabled or not. If the fire is already turned on and then the user blow the candle. Congratulations effect will start. Nice. Bad sound effect. Open the folder that I have provided for you. You will see the sound folder, inside it will have two mp3 files. Ok. First, convert mp3 to m4a. Because Spark AR Studio only accepts m4a files. Open link Spark AR resource. I have full notes for you there. Click on this link. drag and drop 2 mp3 file to upload it. In the setting patch. Let's follow exactly what I do. Or you can check again the guide in the Spark AR resource. It very important. Start conversion, wait the progress finish and download them. You will get 2 m4 files. Let's drag and drop it to assets panel. Ok, cool. Now we will add it for the filter by choose each of them. Then click add multi clip patches. Perfect. You will find it somewhere. Ok. Now we will add the new one pulse patch. Name its sound and connect it with two multi-clip controller patch. Perfect. Let's check. Nice. You can also add the one more sound by using assets library. Spark AR Studio provide for you a lot of sound effect. I will find the pop effect by search. Click import free. Choose it and add multi-clip patches. Then, connect it like you did with happy birthday and yay. Happy birthday! Perfect. So you have created a happy birthday filter. Congratulations and see you in the next lesson. Happy birthday! If you feel this video is useful, please click the subscribe button below, choose to receive notifications or share it with your friends to watch.